we trusted the judicial system. And it served justice for Andrew and for the entire 151. God bless the 80s office and the jury for, for seeing what really happened that day. But to speak the truth and let the truth prevail, the truth did prevail today. We obtained justice for Andrew. That's what this was about. We never lost sight of that. And today, justice was served. I want to thank everyone who assisted the office and the Suffolk County Police Department for getting today's justice. And of course, I want to start by thanking the McMorris family. As a father, I cannot begin to imagine what losing a son is like, much more than having to then go through the trauma of a trial. The determination, the poise, the courage, the grace that the three of them exhibited is extraordinary. Before Brendan summed up in this case, Elisa gave Brendan Andrew's glasses. And Brendan had them in his pocket during summation. So as Elisa said, he could see clearly. So he could see clearly that path towards justice. And that's exactly what he did. I want to thank the community, the Boy Scouts of America, Mothers Against Drunk Driving, and all of the great residents of Suffolk County who knew, who knew that justice ultimately would be served in this case, and who supported the families, the McMorris family, the Lane family, and the countless other families whose lives have been forever changed because of the selfish actions of this defendant. I want to thank all of the residents, the neighbors, the friends, and the strangers who supported our effort to obtain justice in this case. I want to thank the Suffolk County Police Department for doing a phenomenal job in this case. An absolute phenomenal job. This is how we got here. Thomas Murphy, in the ultimate act of selfishness, got intoxicated and made the decision, despite his friend's efforts to stop him, to drive drunk. And he killed Andrew and injured several others. I made it clear from the outset that we would hold him responsible. I made it clear that we would offer no plea deal and that we would seek the maximum sentence. Mr. Murphy decided that he would accept responsibility, plead guilty, and save this family the trauma of going through a trial. At the last moment, he backed out. That's the type of person he is. Repeatedly putting his own interests above others. And so he exercised his right to a trial by jury. And that jury has spoken. He's guilty of all counts. And we will be seeking the maximum sentence. Nothing will bring Andrew back. But justice today, I hope, will allow the McMorris family and all the other families affected to close this chapter and to begin the long journey of healing. I want to thank everyone standing behind me.
And with that, I'll take some brief questions. District Attorney, throughout this trial, we heard testimony impugning the credibility, the honesty of, of the Suffolk County Police, of prosecutors, of medical examiner's office, repeatedly calling them either corrupt, incompetent, or some variation thereof. It was everyone's fault except for Thomas Murphy's. Well, he got a wake-up call today. The jury didn't buy it. And they didn't buy it because it's complete and utter nonsense. Lies. And we remain quiet throughout this trial. I haven't said a word about this trial since the jury stepped foot in this courtroom. Because I knew the actions of my prosecutors, the actions of the Suffolk County Police, and the actions and the courage of these families standing with me would speak for themselves. And I was proven correct. We, as prosecutors, are held to a much higher standard than any other lawyer, any other type of lawyer, lawyer in America. And we will never, never lower our standards. We fight for justice every day. The police work and the prosecutorial work done in this case has been exceptional. Phenomenal across the board. He was convicted of all counts, and that conviction will remain intact no matter how many appeals Mr. Murphy wants to file. Was there any concern when the, uh, the notes weren't handed over? Did that have any concern to you? I respect, respectfully disagree with Justice Camacho's decision and rationale relating to those counts. Obviously, it's inconsequential, but I respectfully disagree, and I'll, re I'll, I'll keep my comments at that. Lisa, Thank you very much. Can I just ask one question, Lisa? Just one more. He, at least he, he mentions the support group behind you. Since day one, you have had hundreds of people come to support what you're going through. Can you just, in a, a quick synopsis, to say what that means to you, to know that even till today, they're here for you? This entire process of losing a child without a trial is shattering. And the only way you stand is by the support of your friends and family and community. And that's a testament to the truth that needed to be told. And today we got that thanks to the DA's office and this incredible team. We have the utmost respect for the entire people that supported us, whether it be our community, the DA's office, the detectives, police department. And today, this won't bring Andrew back. But maybe we can step forward now and heal together as a community. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. McForest, is it disappointing as he left tonight, we gave him many opportunities to acknowledge, accept responsibility, apologize. He still refused. I mean, is that disappointing to you? I don't need to hear from him. He has to fake his, face his maker, and he'll have to do his apologies then. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.